Welcome to this section of Mastering Excel. We're going to learn about the order of operations in Excel. Now, Excel at its heart really is a math program, so there's just no way that you can get around dealing with Excel without knowing a little bit of math, and we've talked about that before. So inevitably, you'll be adding and multiplying and subtracting things, and you might scratch your head a few times if you're not really um, well-versed in math. Now, I come from a background of teaching math, so I'm, I'm kind of aware of this and you should take a few minutes to learn it as well. What if, for instance, I'm gonna do some simple calculations. I'm not really even dealing with formulas, just doing regular old calculations. What if I say, um, what if I want to do something like um, two plus 10 divided by five? How do you think this is going to, what do you think the answer is going to be? Well, a lot of people would say, well, it's going to be two plus 10 is 12, and then 12 divided by 5, which is going to give me some decimal answer. So let me hit enter, and you'll see that the answer is not a decimal answer. It's an even number. It's a 4. So how did that happen? That's because when we're dealing with uh, expressions, or math basically, that have addition and division mixed in, what always happens is the division happens first. So what you really have is 10 divided by 5. That gives you 2. And then that 2 that was basically coming from this gets added to this 2, which gives you whoops, which gives you the 4. So 2 plus 10 slash 5 is going to give you 4. So you need to be aware of stuff like that because you might be doing calculations, especially with, with um, formulas in Excel. And if you don't know the precedent of how the math works, then you're just going to be confused. So let me show you here. The order, the order of operations goes something like this. Parentheses, I'm going to just remind you here, parentheses are done first. Anything inside of a parentheses is always done first, no matter what. No matter if it's addition, subtraction, division, doesn't matter. If it's in a parentheses, it gets done first, so that's at the top of the list. The next most important thing is multiplication and division. So multiplication being the asterisk, division being that. That's the next most important thing that's going to happen next in the order of operations. And the last thing that's done when we're evaluating math is plus minus, so I'll put that there. Notice that I have a, an error message that pops up. That's just Excel telling me, hey, are you trying to type some math in here and I don't know what to do? Well, you can kind of force it to print it in the cell just by putting a single quotation mark there. When you do that in front of anything, Excel will just print it into the cell and kind of ignore in a math part of it. So we have the order of operations. By the way, this is not Excel or Microsoft doing this. This is These are the rules of algebra, basically. Anything in a parentheses happens first. Anything that's multiply or divide happens next. Anything that's add or subtract happens next. Now, in this case, we don't have any parentheses, so they don't apply. The division happens next, and then finally the subtract the addition. And so you can play around with this. Now, for whatever reason, if you wanted to force this addition to happen first, then I can do that. I can put it in parentheses. That's going to tell Excel, according to the order of operations, to do what's in the parentheses first, and then take the result of that and divide by five. And now I get the decimal that I thought I would get all along. Okay, so let, we can do a more, you know, serious computation. We could do inside of parentheses. Let me put an equal sign first. We can do inside of parentheses three plus six right and then I can divide the result by 9 right and then I can add to that I can open another set of parentheses if I want to be fancy and I could do um, 2 plus 3 and then I can multiply this times 10 so what do you think is going to happen without really thinking too hard I know it's a little bit complicated but basically what's going to happen is the parentheses are going to happen first so 3 plus 6 is 9 2 plus 3 is 5 all right and then the next thing that's going to happen is any addition, I'm sorry, any multiplication or division. So this is going to be a 9 divided by 9. This whole thing here should give us 1, all right? This is a 5 times 10 is 50. So this thing right here should give us 1. This thing here should give us 50. And when we add them together, which is the last thing that's done, we should get 51. And that's exactly what we get. So just wanted to do a quick section on order of operations to show you how to do that. If you're doing a formula or if you're doing a computation and you're not getting the right answer, the chances are you're, you're just thinking that the addition or something should come first and you need to go back to your formula and add parentheses wherever you need to pull it off. Like in this case, the 3 plus the 6 would not normally come first. The only reason it does is because I have it wrapped in parentheses. So if you're in a situation where you need to force something to happen first, just wrap it in parentheses.